Matza has a PhD in electrochemical engineering. A highly regarded researcher, he's developed a new type of fuel cell system and has received a government grant for his work. He's now a researcher at this institute of the Tbilisi State University. He supplements his meager 65 euros a month with a part-time job. I think every country needs fewer scientists or people with higher education degrees and more craftsmen, more, let's say, people with mid-level professional education, because they're the ones who help build the GDP. While low wages are a problem for Georgian students, unemployment is the main concern for young people here. It's estimated that 81% of unemployed Georgians have completed secondary or higher education. I'm not satisfied with the system, but the lecturers are good, and I can say for sure that no other university in Georgia has such lecturers. Indeed, Salome's university is a prestigious one. Built in 1918, it's the oldest in the Caucasus and is considered one of the best in the region. We need to, to have more modern teaching methodology. For this reason, the university and uh, almost every faculty has special trainings uh, together with its uh, foreign partners. Unfortunately, it's still lagging behind of many countries, but at the same time, we have ambitious plans. Very important to be a part of European uh, university networks. That's why uh, it's very important to provide such type of services for students and to be a leading institution in research, which can be compared with European standards. A lack of funding and staff are holding back the university's progress. Government reforms have so far failed to align third-level education with the needs of the jobs market. I think there are lots of fields that are not taught at all in Georgian universities. We need new fields, we need new sciences, we need new uh, approaches. Economic development is to rapprochement with the European Union. Economic development creates new jobs, so and for us it will be also new possibilities for our students to find jobs. To this end, the EU has given the Georgian government a 27 million euro grant to develop vocational training.